Yeah, they're all. Yeah, like I was saying, they're all in with their body armor and double barrel shotgun. And just dying left and right. He's got a pistol and a t-shirt, and he's just walking around willy nilly. This is getting to be too much. Better be careful. Follow your orders and don't get in over your head. Hey, you! Don't do anything stupid. Right, first we'll pick up these crackers. Smash this box up. Let's see now. There'll be there'll be hundreds of goodies just lying around. We just gotta get to the other side of the room. We're not gonna take any damage here or anything, so don't worry. Oh, I forgot. Can press B. What is up with those footstep sound effects, by the way? Listen! Okay, you probably can't hear because of the gunfire. But I'll probably talk about them later, but... They're weird footstep sound effects. Sounds like he's standing on a pair of hooves or something across a glass floor. Ah. Orange soda! Nah, I can't be ours doing the reference, sorry. I'm sure none of you want me to hear me say it, anyway. Hello, Mr. Dead Man. You probably weren't that good looking, because you've got your helmet on. We're just gonna walk right into it. Hello there. You wanna be my friend? Okay, my leg got hit. Alright. This is kind of, I guess what you would say, the main part of the game where you save citizens. You alright? Well, actually, either you're saving people or you're killing them left, right, and center. Kind of a weird mix, but whatever. Now, uh, one thing I want to point out, actually, there was... I got through this game... Uh, and I saved every single person. I, at the end credits, it gives you, you know, the amount of people that you missed. I only missed one person throughout the entire game, and I know exactly where that person was, but I didn't know how to get to him. So I'm going to try and save everybody in this game. Because, you know, there will, obviously, if you haven't figured it out, there are times where we will be exploring cities and uh, other disaster regions and all that. It's actually quite interesting. Uh, Foreseeing all the different types of disasters. I mean, we've already seen a volcano, you know. Can we smash that? No. Okay. I'm just smashing up everything I see. Burger time! I'm hungry. <laughs> Lisa, be up there. Let's move. Stay close. Holy shit! It's an ambush. So he's gonna run right out. Right now, here's this takes up shit. over a, about over a third of the game. This right here, this Virtua Pay Cop attention. style light gun game for something. time crisis, because you can hide and all that and. This is e this is definitely my least favorite part of the game. This like these light gun sections, because there's so goddamn many of them, and they feel kind of inconsistent, really. You know, you don't really you don't really want them to come around when they do. You know, because wait, what am I doing? Running out of ammo. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of time crisis style. Time to reload. Wiggle the nunchuck to reload. So yeah, you just press Z to zoom in, and uh, 
well, C to zoom in and the uh, Z to hide, I believe. Yeah. And annoyingly, the game will rank you depending on how many times you hit. Which I find quite aggravating. Running out of ammo. Alright, this is the tutorial thing, you have to... Now we can kill them. And yeah, there's like, uh, like in House of the Dead, there's certain items that you can shoot and they'll give you... Uh, more life and items and whatnot. Or you can just walk up to them and take them this way, I suppose. Hey, best way to open a door ever! These these were the early days of the Wii kids, so, you know, a lot of developers thought they could get away with shit like this. And to be honest, they could, because... Yeah. Come on, Ray. Oh, God. SRT is in bad shape, huh? Yeah, that's locked. I remembered. Right, and also, if I remember correctly, five, four, three, two, one. Hmm, I guess I didn't remember correctly. Maybe it's the flight of stairs up. Five, four, no. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta save him! And I got some ash in my lungs. So yeah, obviously we don't have to save him, but there's not like a moral choice system or that. It's just, you just basically save people to get to more help. experience and stuff. And Waggle... Wait, what? What? You serious? Oh my god, I'm waggling. Oh, there we go, shit! Man, it's not usually that unresponsive. Right, was this one? Yeah, it's locked. in the smoke. Right, more shooty shooty baby? She's gotta be here. No cutscene time. Unless... Yeah, cutscene time. I'd press A, I waggled. Right, so now we get to see our game's heroine. <laughs> By heroine, heroine, I mean the last you keep having to save. Lisa. Who are you? Hold it right there. What's your story? You don't look like an SRT man to me. Ray, could it be? Never you mind who it is, little darling. Anyone in our way gets eliminated. Uh oh. Here it comes. Impossible. It's too soon. Yep, our next disaster is on its way. <clears throat> Special 
targets, yeah. Do not hesitate! Fire! Fire! What's going on? When's it gonna end? Moment's finally right! This is wilder than I thought it was! Get him first! Take this! What? Hehehe. <laughs> Thin table is doing a pretty good job of protecting him. Damn it! First Steve, now Lisa. What am I gonna do? Lisa, do you know him? It's the first time we met face to face. He's... he's the man who killed my brother. What?! I don't want to save you now all of a sudden. 